Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with one of my ColourPop holiday hauls, and I have some of it on. And actually, I have a little bit from all of my holiday hauls on. So I figured we'd go ahead and get started right now. And to start off with, I have the Glow Oil um, by Supergoop SPF 50 on as far as my base. I did go ahead and use a Pretty Fresh uh, foundation by ColourPop. This one is in 55 neutral, and so that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the lips, and this will bring one of my other um, holiday hauls. Um, I went ahead and got the Lip Library. This one's from Ulta, and so it comes with four of a whole bunch of different um, kinds of things. It has uh, matte lip cream, uh, let's see, plumping lip gloss, and lip oil in there. And then today, I went ahead and used the lip stain because it works so much better when you get older and you don't want to get that clown face going on. So I used the very darkest shade here. And it's coming out as more of a cranberry. In fact, I think I'm going to add a little bit more in. And um, I did go ahead and put a lip gloss over it, and it's just so glassy uh, cyberspace lip gloss, and that's by ColourPop. And again, this one is an Alta holiday pack. And we'll just... Yeah, the whole thing with the lip stain, and this is a lip stain, is that you don't need a lot. It's basically just going to stain your lips, and they'll stay stained pretty much the whole day long. But I've been playing around and putting lip gloss on and taking color off and stuff like that. So this is more the true color, and it's probably pretty much a cranberry color here. But again, um, the Lip Library is available as one of the holiday kits from uh, Alta. So if you want to go ahead and pick it up. I just wanted to try out some different formulas of different things. And um, so I went ahead and picked it up. But it does come ready to mail out. So if you did want to go ahead and do uh, some sort of gifts with these, they're already packaged up to do that. And you know what might be really fun? is to put one of each, like put a lip stain, a lip gloss, a lip oil, and a matte, and then um, send them out for holiday. That would be a cute, that would be a good office gift if you wanted to go ahead, you know, and get something for the folks in the office. But again, I had this on as well. I'll put a little bit more on the top. This is Cyberspace by ColourPop. So that's the way that that one looks. And as far as what I got in the, well, actually I should do the cheeks first, right? So um, went ahead and started off with the LYS. This is part of the higher standard LYS holiday collection. It has three different blushes in it. This one is Self Love and it actually has a little bit of shimmer. And so that's what I used on the bottom. And then I went ahead and used the ColourPop uh, Out of Quartz, and this is a light pink. I think originally they thought of it as um, an actual blush, but I think everybody started using it as a highlighter, and it's a really good highlighter, and that's the way I use it most of the time. If I'm doing a really light, no makeup day kind of uh, look, I might go ahead and use this as an actual blush, but like I said, most of the time I use it as a highlighter, so that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use the usual suspects, and I have the Oma by Sharon C on for my eyebrows. I think this one's in taupe. You can get Oma by Sharon C on the Oma website, um, and the Oma by Sharon C is a drugstore version of the Oma line. And um, I did get a, a, a Sephora holiday pack where I went ahead and got a whole bunch of deluxe sizes of some of these mascaras that I haven't tried. And this one is the Tartlet by Tarte. It's a tubing mascara. I'm really enjoying it. 
this particular pack you can get over at Sephora and um, it's really fun it comes with uh, five you know little sample sizes and then you get a voucher to get one full size um, of the so you get one full size out of the five that you've tried and you get a voucher in here so that you can go ahead and get that at no cost. So it's a really good pack and um, available over at Sephora. And as you see, I, I get all sorts of holiday packs from everywhere. So um, getting back to ColourPop. Um, I did go ahead and get my ColourPop haul. Uh, what I have on for you as far as the eye look today is actually the Cloud 9 palette. And it came out at just right about the same time that the 1111 palette came out. And so the 1111 one is actually the Angel palette. But this one, I think a lot of people might be pretty interested in. Uh, Natasha Denona came out with the Xenon palette, which is a grayscale palette. And um, a whole bunch of cool tone palettes are coming out this particular holiday season. Glamlight has a couple of great tone palettes as well. I don't have any of those, but I did pick up Cloud9. If you are wanting to go ahead and play with some of the uh, gray cool tones, this would be a good palette to pick up. I have another one to recommend as well. But this one um, is a lighter cool tone palette. It, it isn't completely gray scale. It has a couple of browns in here. But it's a really pretty palette. And I can tell you what I have on today. I went ahead and started with this one on the inner corner. And this is a sparkly shimmer white. All of these shimmers have a lot of pearl in them. So I think a really wide range of people are going to be able to use them because they just have a lot of pearl and a lot of shiny, shiny shimmer in there. And so I went ahead and used this on the crease. Um, I did use this one as my eyeliner today. And then what I did was I went, let's see, from the bottom inner corner up to the top uh, with the white. And then I took the blue and I took blue from the inner corner up to here. And uh, so the blue is this one right here. And then I took this pink one and I just used it right in the very center. Um, I also did go ahead and use this gray, which is one of those ColourPop grays, and I did go ahead and put that one on the lid. So um, that's pretty much what I have on. I do have some swatches. I did do double swatches just because these are so light. Um, this is definitely a gray cool tone palette but it is a very, very light, and it has a lot of pearl in it. And um, the two standout shades for me are actually going to be uh, that silver. And it's a deeper silver than... If you have other ColourPop palettes, you'll know that they've done other silvers, and they tend to do a really, really shiny formula with the silvers. This one is actually going to be a little bit darker, than some of the other ones um, in some of the other palettes and it's more of a true gray where the silver that I always think is going to be the ColourPop iconic silver is more the baby blue with a lot of shimmer in it. This one is darker and it's a full gray. And then this uh, shade as well which oh I did use this shade. Oops. So um, I used this shade to go ahead and deepen up on the outer corner. And it's also a pretty standout shade. It's this one down here on the bottom. And it's a duochrome with purple and blue and black, I think. So anyway, Cloud9, if you want to do some of the uh, great looks that are coming out, um, that are really popular this holiday season, then Cloud9 would definitely be one of those to go ahead and get. Um, as well as, I think it'll go pretty well with the 1111 palette. It definitely has the lighter, uh, the lighter shimmers in there. And so, yeah, if you want to combine those two, they'll probably go really well together. And I did get the ColourPop um, eye sets. So here are the eye sets. 
and uh, there are three of them. They come with a five pan eyeshadow palette and they also come with an eyeliner as well and a, actually a couple of different colors. So um, this one is actually going to be a burgundy. And uh, the five pan eyeshadows, uh, well, Natasha Denona started them and everybody has done them. And um, with ColourPop, um, everybody seems to like the five shim or the five pan shadow palettes and um, because you can do so much with them. I mean, with this one, it has two shimmers in it. You could do an all matte look if you wanted to. Uh, you could do an all shimmer look. You could put shimmer just over, you know, just one shimmer all, all in the lid and do a, a one shadow look with it. So um, this one is actually called Jolly Vibes. And it is definitely going to be more of a mauve pink kind of uh, kit right there. And they're all ready. They come in already packaged. So whichever holiday you're celebrating, you can just go ahead and, you know, put them in a gift sack, mail them out, and uh, they'll be ready to, ready to crack into and ready to use. Uh, this one is actually probably going to be the most popular one of all. It has uh, browns and bronzes in it. It's called Sweater Weather. And again, a really pretty. Um, this one actually has one, two, three shimmers in it and two mattes. So again, you can do a couple of different looks. And it looks like you're getting a brown. Yeah, you're getting a brown eyeliner in this one. And then the third one is called Naughty List. And so, um, yeah, if you want to play with the cool tones and you just want to try them out, this will have uh, five cool tone shades and looks like it has two shimmers. Or is that three? No, it has two shimmers and three mattes in there. And it looks like it goes uh, light, medium, and dark gray. And then a light gray and a medium gray. Um, for your shimmers and so this again would be a really fun way to go ahead and try out the gray um, grayscale look without investing in a $70 palette and especially if you don't know if you like that kind of thing or not you can try it out with one of these. Uh, these are available over at Target and they also um, are on the ColourPop website. If you want to get the vault, like I got all three of these and I got a little bit of a discount because I bought the vault, um, then definitely go to the ColourPop website and order it off of there. And um, <clears throat> But again, Target does have these. It's part of the Rudolph collection. And the Rudolph palette is over at Target 2. The Rudolph palette was actually released a couple of years ago, and they're re-releasing it this year. And it's a really good palette. It has some holiday colors in it, but enough neutrals so you can use it. People really liked that palette. So um, I actually didn't pick it up, but I know that it was a big seller for them. So anyway, these are available as far as holiday gifts. And um, the Cloud 9, I, this one I've only seen on the ColourPop website, so I'm pretty sure that you would need to go ahead and order it off of there. I haven't seen it available anywhere else. Of course, you know, that changes. So it may be, it may be going to Target or Alta, I don't know. It's also worth checking out Alta to see if they have these because I'm not sure if this holiday set is going over there or not, but it actually may be. And the more I think about it, the more I think it is going over there, but like I'm, I'm not quite for sure on that one. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, that's, you know, that's basically parts and pieces of every holiday kit that I've gotten so far. And I love holiday kits. I use holiday kits throughout the entire year. So when I'm buying them and trying them on now, it's to see if they're going to last for me for the entire year. And I'm rebuying this year a whole bunch of holiday kits that I love. Um, the LYS, I had great luck with that one last year. ColourPop, I always get their holiday kits. Uh, the Sephora kit with the uh, 
mascara in it. This one is actually a new one to me this year. Um, I tried to get this one last year and it had already sold out. So if you're shopping in Sephora sale, you might want to pick this up quick. Because uh, those, those Sephora kits, they sell out really fast. And um, the lip library uh, from Ulta, again, that was something I hadn't tried before. And that's new, and I'm having a fun time playing with that one. And um, I think that's the whole video. Um, just another look at the Cloud9 swatches for you. Again, I did double swatch these. So, uh, yeah. That's the way that that looks, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye!